Now, main event wrestling, a full hour of action and thrill pack wrestling from Hollywood Legion Stadium with Jules and Bill Welch. I think in a moment we'll have introductions. <laughs> oh, Red got engaged in conversation with the ringsider, so he was brought back very quickly there. Cecil Payne and Pete Merringer, the referees in the background. Payne on your right, Merringer on your left. And I think Jules, as soon as he makes a final check on the weights, will get things underway. Red in a busy little uh, autograph signing session. Now here we come with the introductions by Jules Strong. One moment, please. This is your main event of the evening, a tag team match. Best two falls out of three with a one hour time limit. Introducing in the black corner, the first team. First weighing 226 pounds, that Oregon lumberjack, Sockeye McDonald. Sockeye McDonald's partner this evening, weighing 206 pounds. The little prairie flower from Pittsburgh, Kansas, national junior heavyweight wrestling champion, Wild Red Berry. Their opponents in the white corner. First from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing 225 pounds, Freddie Belassi. <laughs> Freddie Belassi's partner tonight, weighing 236 pounds from Van Nuys, California, that sensational newcomer, Wilbur Snyder. We have two referees for this tag team match this evening, Pete Merringer and Cecil Payne. Our two referees, well, Red wanted to shake hands with Cecil Payne and nothing was done about that. Cecil doesn't figure this is the time for handshakes. Red's got on sort of a skivvy shirt underneath his uh, robe here that's uh, he'll take that off a little later of course red hasn't started to explain the rules yet to the referees but he usually does I don't know what sockeye Jack McDonald is looking at but it's something up in the ceiling well red almost got his teeth parted for him there as he explains he wants no fast counts he wants a nice slow count find out who goes for this team of Sockeye Jack McDonald and Wild Red Berry. A little hard to tell. They're both staying inside there. Red's going to be the quarterback. Send Sockeye Jack out against Freddie Blassie. Four of the top names in wrestling all in the same ring here on this night at the Hollywood Legion Stadium. There's a takedown, the first of the match. Sockeye Jack McDonald and here comes Freddie Blassie's famous root and scoot and escape. Well, Sockeye Jack wants to find out from the quarterback here. What it is what? Top wrist lock takedown again. Let's see if Blassie's going out again. How do you like that? McDonald says he's had enough. He wants Red to come in and show him how it should be done. Red's not happy about having to go to work so early in the evening here. Take down again, and there he goes. Red claims his grease all over Freddie Blassie. Pete Marringer, one of the two referees, checks and says nothing to it. Off balance in the ropes. 
Red Stern is in here with a side headlock taken illegally and a hip roll takedown. And he wants to get in some more action, but he won't get a chance. Walk out there and Freddie Blassie head on into the knee of Sockeye Jack McDonald. Shook him up, but good. Blassie, remember, recently was cut up here when he fell hard in the canvas. Red wants to try it again. And again, runs Blassie head on into that knee. Red better watch out, because it might not work every time. He gets that knee ready again. And look out! Red almost got more trouble than he'd planned on. Well, the Kansas Sunflower, Wild Red Berry, a little confused by it all and not happy about being sent back out there to wrestle Freddie Blassie some more. So far, we've seen no action on the part of Wilbur Snyder, but he'll be in there. A little kick trip and a takedown. Blassie has the advantage here with a key lock, top wrist lock, and a look up. Red's trying the scoot on the on his head, and he can't make it work. He was trying the same escape that Blassie used. Of course, he doesn't have much hair up there. And, and nothing works for him. He's trying it again, and he can't get away. Uh-oh, pulled hair, and Blassie shows him how it's done. Oh, he's mad. Wilbur Snyder in the ring, and Red wanted out, so he brings Sockeye Jack McDonald. Donald uh, arm tugs for the first takedown. There's no particular uh, goodwill between these two wrestlers because in, when they met here previously, you may recall, in a single match, Sockeye Jack gave Wilbur Snyder a green ear. In other words, one of those wrestlers' ears ran right through the ropes and back out again as they. Referees keep an eye on him. I think Wilbur Snyder would like to get back at Sockeye McDonald tonight if he could work it. Red's trying to climb the ropes and look out! Freddie Blassie bounced the ropes and Red wants to go over and Blassie is uh, on his way to meet him. In the meantime, Wilbur Snyder comes up with the body scissors on Sockeye Jack McDonald. Wilbur Snyder with a punishing body scissors on Sockeye Jack McDonald. Sockeye got his nickname by winning a fishing contest up at Seattle. Right now, I think he wishes he was back fishing up there. Two count, look out. He almost got a three count. 